There are hundreds of backrooms entities that are chronicled inside of the lore. Some of them are really cool, some of them are kind of goofy, and some of them are just dumb, to be honest. So in this video, I, Brugly, will be ranking these backrooms creatures and entities on a tier list based on how much I like them, how cool they are, how cool they look, if they're well written, and how much they impact the lore. This list will be controversial, so I look forward to the war zone that'll be down in the comments below. Comment your tier list as well, I'm interested to see what you all have to say, maybe, I don't know if I should be, but let's hop into the ranking of all the backrooms entities. All right, here is the tier list, my friends, actually you can't even see it, let me fix that. All right. Here is the tier list, friends. We are here on the uh, tiermaker.com website once again, and we actually have more here than we did in the level video. And I kind of like that because I've always been a huge fan of entities. If you didn't know, those are the first videos that everybody saw on this channel if you're an OG. So I really, um, I'm pretty excited to do this. And there's a huge selection of new and OG ones on this list, and I'm pretty, pretty excited to revisit these if I'm being honest. Don't know all of these. I'm not really sure what some of these pictures are, but I do, I do know most of them, believe it or not. So sorry if I failed you. I apologize. Anyways, let's get into it right here. Uh, first off, with this entity, I think it's one of the, I think I don't remember the name, um, but I do actually like this one. B tier right off the bat. I love ones that kind of go with psychological effects. That's one. That is what this one's all about. Now this next one is the horse. I think it's the immovable horse, the one that has the force field around it. I also really like this one, but not more than a B. Uh, I do. I do like it because it's kind of goofy, and I, I have a strange like appreciation for goofy, silly things in the backrooms lore. I feel like the the dumb things kind of add to it in a way. Like some people think it detracts and takes away. I think it adds to it. It adds that otherworldliness. These are the uh, the kites. These are these are okay. These are they're not really the best. I don't really like the design that much. They're they're decent though. Now this entity, I forgot its name, but it looks cool and I think it's pretty dangerous. So I'm gonna put it a C tier. Not one of my favorites. Like I said, I'm not gonna remember all these off the bat because the names aren't on here and I have so much lore crammed into my head that I can't remember them all. Uh, I do know this one. The level 9 entity. See that right here. Entity number 96. I love this creature. Neighborhood Watch. This is one of my favorites of all time. Love the design. Love how scary it is. And I love that it's on level 9. It's a pretty early level to have a scary entity on. And I'm glad that it's there. So we're going to put that in a solid A tier right off the bat. Alright, so this next one is the Reality Bug. I actually really like this one. This is a pretty cool one. Its effects are very cool. And I also just like the idea of having um, really smart sentient bugs that kind of warp things. Pretty cool. Par parasite? Paraly, I think, if I remember correctly. It's like this um, weird bacteria infection parasite type deal. And it, it slithers inside of you. Pretty scary concept. Not a big fan of snakes. I'll put it to C tier. I just because. Oh man, this next one brings back the OG uh, memory in me. Uh, that rhymed. I'm not going to speed past it. That was really cool. Anyways, these are the woodland entities. I think it's, I think it's woodland. Yeah, it's woodlands. I don't think these exist anymore, but uh, they were Entity 45 when they came out, and I absolutely love these creatures. Pretty much, they are like faces in the side of wood, and what they would do is they would psychologically torment you until eventually they sucked you into the wood wall and just kept you there until you weren't alive. Love this entity. Not sure why they removed it. There could have been something behind the scenes. I don't know. I love this creature um, for, the, for the creature aspect alone and the design. I'm giving it an S tier. It is the perfect example of an entity in the back rooms. Next up, of course, we have the Samantha entity. This is a cat that is very smart, speaks multiple languages, and can talk to many people. Love it. Love this goofiness. I love it. It's just one of those things, like I said earlier, it adds. It adds to the to the weirdness and that otherworldliness. I love it. Samantha's going on an A tier. This is a lot of people's favorite entity um, in the back rooms. So it might, if it's yours, good good it's up here high if it's not i i don't know what to tell you next up we have i think these are the photoshop entities yes these yeah i remember these i remember these bro i remember off the top of my head these are really like psychologically tormental type of deals i kind of like the design pretty cool concept as well yeah that's saying a solid b tier is accurate another good entity especially for the concept of the infinite infinite labyrinth of back rooms we'll put it in eights here the entity that you get trapped on if you walk on top of it very cool, very OG. Not sure what this one is. It looks like a hallway to me. Maybe it's just like a living hallway. I don't know. It's not listed. We'll put it here at D just because I don't know what it is. Next up is Doll Faces. Now, Doll Faces, another OG creature. Absolutely adore these. They were the 
first or second in the original creatures video I made. So the nostalgia bone is getting tickled. Anyways, that is definitely going for a solid A tier. Very, very much love that. These are light guides, I believe. Is that is that what it's called? I think it's I think I remember that. Yes, light guides. So I like light guides. They're in the Cygnus archive uh, level. I, I like these. These are cool. We have no one really knows what they do. No one knows like all their stuff. I, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna put it at a B tier, probably above Photoshop's. Next up is a very controversial one. A lot of people do not like these entities. These are facelings. A lot of people hate them. A lot of people think they're basic. A lot of people don't like them. And I, I don't like a lot of people. I'm putting this at an S tier. I think facelings embody the goofiness and weirdness of the back rooms. And I love it. I literally love the idea of having these creatures that have no face, no identity, no personality. Just raw husks running around living in the back rooms. It's perfect. I love it so much. Uh, it's going for an S tier. Under the, under the woodland though. Now I wish my eyes weren't like trash. If I could see the, it'd be kind of neat. I'm not really sure what this is. I think I remember like seeing this picture a while ago. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what this one is. I've never seen it before. Also, uh, there's nothing that comes up on reverse image search. So we're just going to leave it. Okay. It seems to be the backroom salesman, apparently, according to Reddit from two years ago. I like that. That is, I didn't know that existed. That's probably not on a website, but I like it. It looks cool. Put it in uh, a solid C tier. Also, can't even see what this one is. Let's go over here. Is this the Red Knight? I think this is the Red Knight. I actually like the Red Knight. It's kind of overpowered. Kind of overpowered a little bit. Put it at B tier. Red Knight's pretty cool. I have a full short and a video on it. Now we have the uh, one of the hated, most despised entities in all the back rooms, the Death Rat. And this entity is just like an over-aggressive rat that attacks people and things. Now, I don't really like it that much, and I know a lot of people don't either, so I'm actually going to agree with the crowd. I'll put it at a D tier. I don't like it at all. I think it's kind of, it just is like a weird, weird thing to throw in. I don't know. It's, it's cool, but it's not. I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of impartial, but I'm going to put it at D tier. We are speed running through these because I don't want this video to be about 20 hours long. But next up, we do have the coconut trap, which is, I think, one of the cooler ones. I think this is a natural, like, uh, vegetation type entity. Not many of those that exist. I like how, you know, you put your hand in it, you'll get trapped. Now we have the death moth. That might be an, oh, that's an A tier. Right below Samantha. Death moth's classic entity, one of the first ones ever. Very cool lore, very cool design pretty cool footage is about it you already know what's up next the best entity of all time the party pooper entity which recently has been brought back to the lore absolutely love this entity like no bones about it seriously such a cool entity such a cool design love it so much very classic s tier top of the line mint peak as the kids would say all right next up we have dream weavers love this creature too uh we'll put it at a tier above samantha love the design love the the way it attacks you in your dreams, the way it shows up in your peripheral vision. Also, I just realized that I'm talking so fast that it's like a auctioneer. Sorry about that. All right, so next up, of course, we have Athenian Ducks. Now, for some reason, this entity is like loved. I'm not really sure, like, maybe I haven't read into it in a while. I don't think I've ever covered it. I might do like a full in-depth analysis on the channel. For right now, I'm going to put it at a high C tier, like the drink. Caught me strawberry punch, but it's going to be right on the high C tier. It's a duck. It's a duck. Next up, we have the Cura Bitter Bird. Another entity that people like really don't enjoy that much, I don't think. Low C tier. It's got a decent design. I made a pretty cool video about it a while ago. Nothing really special. It's it's kind of cool, I guess, but not, not one of my favorites. The thing on level seven, adore this entity. One of the first that you'll run into inside the back rooms is actually scary. I love it. Design's cool. Everything's cool about it. Awesome stuff. Now, a lot of you are going to be saying, he's blinded by nostalgia. Yeah, what about it? Anyways, now we're back to the window entity. Another S tier. Amazing creature, amazing design. Love the fact that you could be in any level with any window and there could be a creature behind it that's an entity itself that would suck you into this never ending abyss of windowness. Cool stuff. Of course, we also have the Smiler. Another S tier. I mean, we're getting like four S tiers in a row. Smiler. When you think of the back rooms, you think of Smilers. Let's be real. Clumps. Another S tier. Love this creature. Love the mangled, disgusting aspect of it. Seriously. One of my favorites again. This is a pretty large S tier. I'm not going to lie. No idea what this rubber duck is, but I'm not going to D, whatever. Clinker toys. We'll put the clinker toys at a B. A lot of these entities fall into that like zombie vibe type deal. 
I'm not really a big fan of that trope, but the clinker toy is a pretty cool one. It's got, now we have clickers, which I think are pretty cool. Sentient little uh, typewriters that roll around typing things and printing on paper. Oh, is this one of the electric zombies? Okay, I know, yeah, I know what this one is. I forgot the name, but this one's really cool. I love the design on it. We'll put this in a mid A tier. Actually, below clickers. That is a cool entity. It's, the name is slipping me. I could probably do the right thing and search it up right now, but we have a job to do. We can't, we can't just search everything we want to, okay, guys? Come. Six arms. We have six arms here. One of the OGs as well. Try not to let nostalgia blind me. I'll put it at A tier above this one. I love how creepy this one is. I love how it just kind of appears from the shadows, reaches out, grabs you, and pulls you back in. It's kind of like what I do. Now, if you know this one right here, you get the senior discount. This is Petrie. Like I said, it might be blinding me by OGs, by the OG-ness, but I'm going to put it like mid B. It was really cool. No idea what this is. Looks like a dodo bird, I think. Whatever. Crawlers. Classic creature. High B tier. Love crawlers. Love that they are like this living virus fungal thing. Pretty cool. Jerry, of course, is a S. Actually, we'll put Jerry under Samantha. Jerry's classic. One of those OG ones as well. How there's. He's got like an entire lore around him. I think that's pretty neat. And he can mind control people. And he's a blue bird. I mean, what else can you say? This is Bartholomew the Third. Another cool entity. It's very enigmatic definitely an A tier. You can like, uh, like stick your hand through his fur and it's like this infinite wormhole. Like it's going to get lost in there. It's pretty cool. Next one up is this. Can't even see what it is again. Oh, it's Coco. Cool. Coco is the sentient AI. Like it, but it's kind of too SCP-y for me. Again, with the rhymes, I'm going crazy. B tier. We'll go B tier below this one. Game Master, of course, is an either a high A or a low S. We'll put it a high A over the uh, reality bugs. Love Game Master. Love the lore. Of course, we have Hounds, which Ooh, low A tier. Would have been high B tier, but just from the nostalgia factor, which I'm again getting blinded by, I know. But still, very cool creature, very cool footages about it, and a cool lore. Uh, one of the most common, if not the most common, entities. Next up, we have the Beast of level 5, or the Thing on level 5. Love this one so much. Very cool. Maybe one of the first entities that's like really smart that you could run into in your exploration of the hellscape. Pretty cool. I really like it. S tier. Now this one, so it's the Mangled. I remember this one now. Love this creature. I wish there was more like a drawn out digital design. So I'll put it like a mid B tier. Uh, Mangled is really cool. So this is of course, uh, Jess, Jessica, Jess, if I remember. I don't really like this one. It's a frog. Frogs are weird. We'll put it like a mid C tier. Not a fan. Now this is that one author, Etoile, Edelise. I literally cannot remember their name. Apologies for that. We'll, we'll put low B tier. I mean, I don't know how I should put authors on here, but whatever. Entity number 23. Uh, this is a pretty cool one as well. We'll put it like mid B. A lot of these are just going to huddle at the mid B tier, to be honest. The professor of the math class level. Love this dude. Pretty cool OG creature as well. Uh, more, we'll put it at A tier. Another spider. We don't really care about the spider stuff. It's too, too human. Elevators. Love the elevator entity. Very cool design. And I love the fact that they're so common in different levels and you don't know what's going to be a real elevator and what's going to be like this so that's pretty cool now this is the virus the sickness i think pretty cool i can't remember the name uh, again but i'll put it at mid beat actually low b tier we'll put it somewhere in the b tier i think these might be dentist entities if i remember correctly i i cannot recall if that's what they kept the name as these are really cool though they're really disgusting really gross oh here's parasitic paint okay so this is parasitic paint high a tier for me um i really i don't know what this one is so i'm gonna move it down but parasitic paint really cool idea since there's so many indoor levels in the back rooms and they you know they have paint on them and having some paint that's like this alive biological sickness it's just a cool thing uh another snake i'm pretty sure i already had this on here so i don't know why we're doing it again get the program together party goer entities now, what does Brugley think about party goer entities? I think a few things. I think, as I said earlier, the goofiness and the silliness of creatures like this add to that, like, otherworldly uncanniness of the back rooms. However, I do not enjoy all, like, the fan people, the huge, like, suckers for the party goers, you know? I, I wish it was not as popular as it was, but I also recognize how crucial it is to the OGness of the back rooms. You know, 1KD did a great job with this creature, and it really is, when you think of the back rooms, you probably think of these creatures. So I'm gonna put it at the mid tier, the B tier, um, because I do really like how it looks, the scariness of it, but I really don't like what the fans have, have done to it. Not really sure what this is. It looks like a dead rat, so let's open that up in a new image. 
Oh, it is a dead rat. I thought we already did death rats, but whatever. The Plague Doctor. So this is gonna go in the C tier for a couple reasons. We'll put it above Samantha. C tier because it is a cool entity and it has some cool effects, but it literally, it almost copies like the SCP Plague Doctor in like a couple ways. Yeah, it's different, I know, but it it's it's too similar in some in some fashions. Not a big fan of that. The uh, the crab. Again, I forgot the name. It's it's eluding me. We'll put it under the coconut trap, uh, just for now. Now these entities are called allures, if I remember correctly. Uh, we'll put this up here at the high B tier. Allures are another OG one. They're these these black tall humanoids that have these saxophones. They run around and play them randomly. Pretty cool creature, I would say. I honestly have no idea what this is, and I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I guess this is a joke entity, of course. Uh, D tier. D tier. Also, don't know what this one is. It's, I think it's, I, I you know what, I'm not gonna try. Now, I do know what this one is. One of the OGs, the Skin Stealer. Now, the Skin Stealer does get an S, of course. Literally, actually, we'll put it above the clumps and above the Beast Level 5. Skin Stealers are such a classic, like, backrooms type lore. The Red Colony, pretty cool. Again, I'm not really a big fan of bugs and in, in, like, real life things in the back rooms, but I'll, I'll go with it as, as, a, as a C tier. So, apparently, this is the Thumb Kermit. Never heard of this one. Uh, C? I, I don't know what that is. So, this is apparently was Tile Traps. I thought this was Tile Traps, but I'm not sure what that is. Call me fake, but I'm gonna put that up here because I really like the Tile Traps, obviously. Anyway, these, there's a couple repeats. We already had the Crawler. Next up, we have Reviooks, which are pretty cool, like, beasts. This is there. Why am I, why was I sitting down so far? Wow. Sorry about that. Next up, of course, is the Memory Worm. Love this creature. High A tier, right above Jerry. Such an OG creature. Love the psychological effects, the mental effects. Its design is fantastic. It's another favorite of mine, personally. I don't think a lot of people like this one, but it is the Redkins, but high A tier. The Redkins are these really powerful creatures that some people think are too OP, but they kind of make everybody that gets involved with them worship them uh, via touching them. They have to touch them, and those people will be like, you know, worshiping to them. I love that. Is the Wrangler another OG. I love these. This is like taking me down memory lane. Wranglers are cool. I love where they're at, like the, the dark hallways deep in the back rooms. We'll put them right under six arms for now. Next up, another favorite of mine, the Wretches or the Insanities. And if you're an OG, I used to use these in like literally every thumbnail <laughs> because it was cool. I love how they look very cool design and i love how anybody can turn into one if they get like dehydrated and just go crazy this is the eye of argos uh thing not really i don't really know much about this like canon so i'm just gonna put it at low b tier i probably should research that to be honest but it looks cool these are those creatures that have like the the liquid silence around them i like that a lot we'll put that at the mid b tier below the crabs i again the name is slipping me i can't remember all the names but I really like that one. It's like coated in liquid silence. It, you don't hear when it moves and it comes out of the darkness. Pretty cool. All right, bro. I mean, what? I mean, what is this? This is literally just a picture with like a dude standing. Maybe a, I'll, I'll call this a skin giver. If this is a skin giver, I'll put it at A because I love the skin givers. The opposite of the skin stealers, where if you get touched by it, of course, it makes your skin fatter and fatter until you just suffocate in a, in a skin cocoon, effectively. And we've already done the crawler, so I wish that wasn't there. All right. This is the brutally ranking of every single entity that was on this website. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about it. I actually don't know if it was controversial or not, but I'm going to title it that so you guys click it. Don't flame me in the comments, but I think this is the only good tier list that there ever has been created. If yours isn't like this, sorry. Sorry. I mean, it's okay to be wrong. All right. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this at any point in time, drop a like for the old Brewster, if you don't mind. Also, check out my third channel. Uh, I'm getting, like, a lot of traction over there, so if you want to be a part of the gang before 100K, um, go sub there. Almost at 40 right now. 40,000, not, not 40 subs. I'm uploading, like, internet mystery, creepy stuff, uh, like creepypastas and internet ARGs, and it's 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 a cool thing. It's, it's like a passion project for me, so if you want that kind of stuff, check it out. Thank you so much for all your support here and on every channel. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. If you want more real like face-to-face -face content like this also leave a like and tell me i love like interacting with you guys feels like it's more personal i don't know in a way and yeah that's it for the video thanks so much for watching i love and appreciate each and every one of you and i'll see you later